All right, guys, welcome back to the SmackDown vs Raw 2007 GM mode. We're on the road to Judgment Day. We're in the hometown of Walter White, New Mexico, Albuquerque. Will we be cooking up any meth tonight? Will there be any drugs in store? I don't know. We may be getting a high without the drugs. This is a pretty good SmackDown show, in my opinion. We've even got a match on Velocity. We're treating you tonight, guys. We really are treating you. Uh, run through the whole match card. We'll try to set up matches before we get to Judgment Day. We do have one problem. Kane is the number one contender for Angle's belt, but he's actually not in the top five rankings. So that means at the moment, as things stand, Kane isn't eligible to challenge for the belt. So <laughs> my job is going to be to try and build Kane up over the next four weeks to try and get him in that uh, contendership, uh, you know, role, that contender list or whatever you want to call it. But if not, then it looks like the main event of the pay-per-view could be a one-on-one -on -one match, which would really, really suck. But I guess it's what we need to go with, because because Kane won fair and square, so it would be un, it wouldn't right be right to you know take away uh, the title shot from Kane. But unfortunately, his uh, popularity is, is so low at the moment. But we're going to try and get him in an interview space, try and get his popularity up, and we need to get some uh, money through advertisement promos because we're pretty much skin anyway, guys. Here we go. Let's confirm the match card. Let's get into the show. Gregory Helms versus Psychosis. And it's a win for Psychosis. Big win for him. Uh, Bobby Lashley taking on JBL. And JBL picks up one over Bobby Lashley. Bits of a surprise there. Uh, Umaga. Umaga loses a... What the hell? Umaga is not on a good run of form here. The guy is uh, he's not doing too good, let's be honest. Uh, what are we going to do next? We'll do Kennedy versus Undertaker. And Undertaker beats Ken Kennedy. Ken Kennedy maybe not happy that Undertaker's brother defeated him to uh, claim that title shot against Angle, so Ken Kennedy maybe wanting to run some revenge. Not that it's Undertaker's fault, but I guess Ken Kennedy's a, a bit of a prick and he'll, you know, he'll blame anyone he can. Uh, up next, last week, Johnny Nitro sort of got screwed. He had a title shot, it didn't really pay off. It was a kind of a no contest. So we're going to see if he can do better this week. And he doesn't. Booker T retains uh, with help from Tory Wilson, so I don't know, will there be a feud? Tory Wilson and Melina are already in a bit of a feud. Booker T and Nitro, I'm assuming, don't really like each other, so perhaps something could happen down the line there, guys. Maybe they'll have a rematch at Judgment Day. Right, we've got Rated RKO against the Tag Champs. Here we go. And Rated RKO wins, so does that mean Rated RKO should get a title shot? I think it does. They've beat the champs in a non-title match. I think it does. And in the main event, it's the backstage brawl, parking lot brawl. We're going to be playing as Kurt Angle. Uh, we're going to be playing as Kane, actually, because we want to try and get my win. 86 overall versus 95 overall from Kurt Angle. Nine points of difference. Man, we're going to be in for a world of trouble here. But we'll try our best to secure the win. See if we can do it. Here we go. The big red machine versus the, uh, the big white and red, white and gold, or red, white and blue. Ass kicking machine, Kurt Angle. I think this kind of match probably favours Kane more than Kurt Angle. Backstage brawl. But here we go. Let's see. It's been a while since I played this game. I've played so many wrestling games over the past couple of weeks that uh, <laughs> can remember in each controls is a bit difficult. But we've just fired Kurt Angle there into the fire truck. Kane. Kane could have done with a fire truck when he was younger. Put those flames out when he was burning. And look at that. What's happening here? Kane out punishing Kurt Angle. But the... The, uh, it looks like the stair lift have just moved there, so I don't know if that's... I don't know why that's happened. Kurt Angle then back to his feet, battling back. Kurt Angle going for a suplex. Oh, and he nails it. We scoop slam and Kane on the concrete. Kurt Angle's head is uh, yell Oh, Kane with a big low blow. A big shot to the nuts there for Kane. Oh, yes, good counter for Kane. I mean, if, if, if Angle connects with that, I mean, Kane's probably got a broken neck. Kane then continuing to bar Kurt Angle in the trash. The uh, trash vehicle, his lids just popped up. The, the rear truck is, the back door is open. Oh, and a big boot to Kurt. I wonder if we can get him in there. I wonder if we can send Kurt in. Oh, no, Kurt takes us down with a wrestling manoeuvre. I mean, if we, if, we, if we start grappling here, that definitely would favour Kurt Angle, but we need to make sure we don't. Kane with a big rake to the eyes there. Kane attacking the eyes of Kurt Angle. Oh, no, Kurt Angle 
What's Kane looking for? Oh, he's found a shovel. What's Kane doing with that shovel? Oh, and a big clothesline. Kane there taking down Angle. And now he's got the shovel. What's this? This could be dangerous. This is not looking good. Oh, no. Kane is continuing here to beat up Angle. Oh, Angle with the counter. Angle and oh, and Kane just takes him down. Angle's already been hit with a shovel, Jesus Christ. Where's Kane going, Kane? Where's Kane going? What the fuck is this from Kane? Kane is a madman, Kane's on top of this truck, what's he doing? Oh my god, how anticlimactic was that? Angle's attacking Kane with the shovel. Oh, Kane trolled us there, it looked as if he was going to go for a big manoeuvre off the top rope, but... He Oh, and Kurt Angle catches him, Angle Lock! Kurt Angle with Angle Lock on Kane! I, mean, I thought Kane was going to go for the big flying clothesline or something, but he, it looks like he bottled it. And now Kurt Angle locks in the Angle Lock. Kurt Angle could be moments away here for getting a win of his own, but... Angle blocks. The account argue he's got the shovel again, but this time Kane... Battling back. Angle. Oh, big uppercut there, big uppercut. And Kane trying to climb that uh, tanker there, the sewage tank, but I don't think he can. I know he went for another uppercut angle with the knee to the midsection. And a big overhead belly to belly for Kurt Angle. Although that head's affecting him. I mean, Kurt Angle's he's damaged very easily in this match. Maybe it's a maybe it's a fitness thing. Kurt Angle can't really take the heat here. But he's firing away big club and blows here to the back of Kane's big dome. Like punching a fucking bowling ball, probably break your fist, ain't it? But he's got to try and win the match. It's not even a match, it's a bloody backstage brawl. Kane then. Still Kane. Still Kane with these big uppercuts. Kane goes behind. Shot to the uh, back from Kane. Angle goes into the truck. And what's Kane doing? He's got Angle. He's got the door open. It's a hearse. It's the Undertaker's hearse. What's he doing? What is Kurt, what's Kane doing? What the fuck is Kane doing? What the hell is Kane doing? Kane has sent Kurt Angle away in the hearse. What the fuck was Undertaker driving that thing? What has happened to you guys? What an end in the Smackdown. I just don't believe it. Kane defeats Kurt Angle. That was a that was madness. Never seen that before. <laughs> I thought Kane was gonna like smash his head through the screen. I didn't realise he was gonna I don't even know where he's going. Who's driving that thing? Where to, Stephanie? Where to, Kurt? I don't know. I don't know where he's going. Fucking hell, whoever's driving that hearse will decide. Hopefully it's Undertaker. I mean surely we won that SmackDown. That was a good SmackDown for us. Come on. Fan change SmackDown. Fan change yes. And we get 130,000. holy shit. It's a hell of a lot. Booker T remains the champion. Looks like Mickey James can't buy a win over on Raw. And the Raw rating was a two-star show. Very, very poor for Raw. Let's see what Raw did. Uh, first of all, let's see what we did in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So, yeah, that main event, not, not surprised to put on three and a half stars, but so did Taker and Ken Kennedy, and you'd expect that from a, those two good guys. So, I mean, that was a pretty good smackdown from us. Let's see what Raw did then. God, they didn't have any t the first two matches, they left blank. That's not going to help. And it's not like the rest of the matches were that good either, so... Uh, and they had nothing on Sunday Night Heat, so they were in Alaska. I don't know if that affected the show, but... I mean, that's not the greatest uh, Monday Night Raw you'll ever see, guys, is it? Let's be, let's be real. Let's have a quick look at the fan support. Uh, I knew Raw were in front of us, but they have had a pay-per-view. Oh, God, now we've actually creeped ahead, so... We're actually in front of Raw. Plus, Raw's had a pay-per-view, and we haven't, so we are in such a good position. Don't want to get too ahead of myself here as we head into May 10, South Carolina, Orangeburg, the home of... Well, I think Rick, Rick Flair's from North Carolina, isn't he? but it's close enough, fuck it, close enough. But uh, yeah, man, we're in, a, we're in a good place at the moment, and the fan support at least. And in the Power 25, let's see if there's been any changes. Kurt Angle's dropped down after losing the Kane. Batista's dropped down after losing that tag team match. So has Ray. So a lot of the SmackDown guys have... I've uh, dropped places here. Foley's moved up. Taker stays in 8th. Orton's dropped down, even though he won. 
Orton won the tag match, but he's dropped down. Interesting. Edge has moved up to 10th. Booker T's dropped down to 11th. Ric Flair stays in 12th. Benoit has moved up. I wonder how many places you move up for killing your family. He's moved up to 13. Unlucky for Benoit. He is a bit of an unlucky guy. I think number 13 suits him, to be fair. Maybe we'll just keep him there for the rest of the GM mode. But Lashley moves down. Lita, your women's champion, moves up. Holy shit, she moved up 10 places. I take it she won the belt. No, she was in the main event. Yeah, she won the main event. So interesting there. Kane has moved up to 16. That's the kind of movement that we're needing. I need Kane to be right up there. So hopefully he's, he's getting closer and closer. Kennedy moves down. Uh, JBL's moving up, moving in the right direction. Nitro and Molina move down. Umaga moves down after a very, very disappointing defeat there. So on SmackDown, we need Kane to get in the top five. At the moment, he's currently ninth. We do need him to get higher than that. But at least he is moving in the right direction, guys. I think it is possible. It probably is possible that we could get Kane into the top five. I hope we do. I really want a title match at Judgment Day. But if not, then I guess it's just going to be a one-on-one -on -one match. And Kane will definitely get that title shot down the line. But I can't give him it until he gets into the top five. So it's a race against time to try and get into the top five, guys, before we get to Judgment Day. And in terms of the rivalries, what is happening? Uh, we've got a bunch of thumbs up here. The rivalries have just started. But you can see we've got Booker T, Nitro, Lashley, JBL, Angle, Kane, Kennedy, Taker, Mysterio, Orton, Molina, Torrey, and Edge, Batista. Keep in mind, Edge and uh, Orton will be taking on Mysterio and Batista. So the tag titles will definitely be on the line. The US Championship will definitely be on the line as well. So at least we've got, I can guarantee you guys we've got two title matches. I'll probably have the Cruiserweight title be defended at, on the pre-show, I think, of the pay-per-view. That's if the pay-per-views do pre-shows. I'm not too sure. If they don't, then I might just not have it defended. I'll, I'll just be honest, guys. It might not be defended. Because I haven't got a storyline going for the cruise race yet, but we do have Molina and Tori going strong here for, for three weeks. And I'm hoping by the time we get the backlash, this is at least double thumbs up. I'll get a double thumbs up. If if they both show their tips, I'll get all the thumbs up. I'll have ten fingers up in the air. I'll get as many fingers and thumbs as you want, guys. But at the moment, we've only got one. One thumbs up. One thumbs up. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next time for week... I don't know what week is it. Is it week six? Or is it seven? I don't know, but we're in South Carolina, and uh, the road to Judgment Day, guys, is just picking up. Find out what happens next time, but until then, peace.